With Adobe Fresco, I can make art wherever I am and quickly share it with others. I'll show you how I use vector brushes to create a line drawing and how to create a custom color palette to paint it. I made a pencil sketch in Fresco and iPad. I saved it to my phone and then placed it into my document to use as a guide. I'm going to zoom in and lower the opacity of my sketch to make it easy to trace the lines. I want to use basic round brush, but I need to adjust some settings. I'm going to increase the size and also apply some smoothing to get nice smooth strokes. I can draw and preview the changes live in the brush settings panel. I also want to turn off pressure and velocity dynamics so that my strokes have consistent width. Now I can make my canvas full screen and start tracing with my finger. Zooming in on each part of the drawing helps me trace the lines as accurately as I can. I can also rotate the canvas and draw at any angle. It takes practice to get used to drawing with your finger on a small screen, but no worries, you can always use undo and correct any mistakes. Just tap with two fingers to undo and tap with three fingers to redo. To draw faster, use the touch shortcut. It's a little circle in the lower left corner of the screen. You can turn it on under settings if it's not already on. With the touch shortcut, I can quickly change my brush into an eraser. I just need to hold it down while using the brush or double tap it to lock it into its primary state. I can make my brush smaller, zoom in and quickly erase bumps and irregularities. There is a way to draw straight lines in Fresco. All you need is to turn on snap line and hold at the end of your stroke to turn it into a straight line. The touch shortcut also helps to trim lines that overlap. Just set it into its secondary state and cross over the unwanted parts. You can always reuse parts of your drawing by duplicating your layers. For example, I'm going to make a copy of the wings layer and then flip it horizontally. Now, when I finish drawing, I'm going to merge my layers into one and duplicate it so that I can add colors to my outlines. One of the ways to create a custom color palette is to pull colors from an image. I'm going to use a stock image from my CC libraries and sample the colors from it with the eyedropper tool. I also want to save these colors to my swatches to use again later. You can save as many colors as you want and experiment with various color combinations. Now that I have my custom color palette, I can quickly fill different parts of my drawing with different colors. To make the fill tool work seamlessly, make sure there are no gaps between the lines. That's it. I think it looks nice. I'm ready to export my drawing as a PSD file and make further edits in Photoshop. Adobe Fresco on iPhone lets you illustrate wherever you are. You can keep your artwork as is or finish up on your tablet or desktop. I'll show you how I use selections with Fresco's gorgeous brushes to create an organic landscape. I've already created a new document and filled in the background with a little texture. To start, add a new layer, then tap the selected layer preview to hide the layers panel and give yourself more room to work. Grab the lasso and drag to create a selection. I like to make selections, then draw inside them, especially when I'm working with my phone where there's not as much real estate. I love to use Fresco's live watercolor brushes to create subtle variations in hue. Notice that the color is confined to the selection area. I'll add some extra details with the rough pencil brush in a slightly darker shade. Okay, let's deselect so we can make a new selection and add a new layer. Long press on the lasso to access other tools, like the brush selection tool, which lets you paint to select rather than drawing the perimeter of the selection like you do with the lasso. Repeat the process of selecting and painting on new layers to build up your illustration. 
Next, I want to create a more geometric shape. Back in the selection tools, choose the ellipse marquee. If you've tried Fresco on a tablet, you may be familiar with the touch shortcut, which lets you easily modify how tools behave. In Fresco on iPhone, the touch shortcut is turned off by default, so I'll go into my settings to turn it on. Now I can use the touch shortcut to constrain my selection to a perfect circle. Let's add a crescent to this moon. Tap Transform Selection in the bottom bar to reposition the marquee. With an active selection, we can access layer actions if we tap the layer thumbnail. Tap More to lock transparency so we only paint over pixels that already have color. Now that I have several layers, I can adjust their size and composition to get the balance just right. With a layer selected, tap the Transform tool to select it, and drag and pinch to put the layer where you want it. You can also drag a handle to transform a layer disproportionately. I think this looks pretty good. My illustration will be waiting for me in my cloud documents if I want to continue working in Fresco on my iPad or in Photoshop on the desktop. I like to use the time-lapse feature to create a video I can share on Instagram. Of course, I can also save the image right to my phone. I'm using my illustration as a fresh wallpaper. I hope you're inspired to make something new in Fresco on iPhone.